Hell yeah, I am back. Man, this place looks classy. There he what is. What is that mustache? Yeah, I am home. I'm ready to do this. You think Gonzo's gonna walk in and just start popping off the mouth? Oh yeah. Letting out some oh, helium. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh. I let you back in here, huh? <laughs> you just right here. Ooh, floated in on that balloon head. Called me out, huh? Yeah. I figured you all got to take your shot and landed pretty hard, so you better believe I'm coming for blood today. Yeah, I'm ready for this battle, man. Bullshit's thick in that room. I'm gonna take you out. I don't mean to be a dick, but you're gonna go home without that W. I don't think so, man. On the day that I went home, it should have been you. All right, let's go see what's going on. Yeah, let's, I'm, I'm excited about this. All yeah. right. Okay, let's do it. Everybody thought I was gonna just be gone one of the first tattoos, and I stayed around longer than anybody expected. You know why? Because I, I'm, I'm a fighter, man. Yeah. Hey guys. Here we go. Oh, this is gonna be good. I'm ready to just kick some ass. See, that's the Austin I know. I'm here to win, man. I feel like it was a team thing. He doesn't have his team. He doesn't have clean. He doesn't have all these people in his ear helping him. Or it's just me, me and him now. I'm gonna be honest, I do feel a lot of ego. You have to back it up and you have to not make excuses. I am not defending that tattoo. I learned from that. I've been watching that. I've been thinking about that ever since it happened. So that's why I'm coming back now and trying to set it right. Gons is a badass mother when it comes to tattooing. I will not take that from him. I'm excited to go up against somebody of his caliber because it'll show I belong in the competition. We just want this to be an even playing field. Yeah. So today, we're gonna give you guys a 90 minute face off tattoo where we yes. determine what both you guys are gonna be tattooing. The winner of today's face-off will have the ability to determine either the style or the subject matter of tomorrow's six-hour grudge match tattoo. And the winner of that grudge match ends it all, squashed. That's all I came for. This is the time to set the record straight, guys. I'm here to bring it, man. I didn't come here to, like, get steamrolled, so. And I came with something to prove. So what do you think we're gonna give him to do? I think we should really test the line work on these guys. That's fundamentals right there in its finest. Let's do geometric. Why don't we do geometric animals? Yeah, like a little geometric animal head. Liners only. Liners only. No curved lines. So you guys have to do 90 minute geometric animal head tattoos using just a liner. Surprise us. Sounds like a little piece of heaven. All right, well, get to work. Let's go. Man, oof. Just lines. It's gonna be a tough one. 90 minutes is what I do, Gonzo. I hope you got this, man. I know you do pretty long tattoos. It should be easy for you to draw an animal head. You guys do a self-portrait. Only straight lines. Are you good at pulling straight lines? I'm really good at it. Is there any other kind of line to pull? I'm wondering what your line work actually looks like. You're about to find out now. In our second grudge, season 10's master illustrator, Matt Buck, went home before the lower ranked Katie Roden. You know your tattoo robbed me of my rightful shot. But at least I can tattoo. Oh, Ooh. man. Now they'll battle head to head. Artist versus technician. This is one of the coolest tattoos that I've ever done. Your line work was trash. Baloney. This is going to be a freaking rumble, dude. Matt was on my team. I would say he's one of the best illustrators to ever hit. Ink Master. Katie came out swinging in the beginning of that season too, right? I mean, yeah. her first tattoo out of the gate was her best one the whole season. Yeah. They specialize in two completely different opposite ends of the spectrum. Matt's classically trained illustrator. But, yeah. but when it comes to tattooing, he's inexperienced. Yeah. And that plays a huge part because it's a totally different medium. Matt went home. Katie stayed a little bit longer. Let's see the number one ranked tattoo of the day. Congratulations, Matt. Who was number one? Who was the number one pick here? For the first tattoo, when we're all on an even playing field. I think you're full of yourself. I think you're cocky. Your anatomy sucks. How do you know? Well, we don't Does know, because she only draws it? traditional. I don't only do traditional, Matt Book. B.S. Do not poke the bear. B.S. Do not with me. Don't let Matt fool you. Like, yeah. he seems quiet, but he's cocky, and Katie is super feisty. So do you think this is gonna get heated? They both just have a problem with each other. Yeah. It's just a mutual grudge. Bagel time. Bagel time. Time for some nosh. Since season 10, I lost a little bit of hair, a little bit of mustache, and uh, got one of these. That hits the spot. Katie was safe on the day that I went home, which is a load of BS. We were both up for elimination. I was a stronger artist. She let the waterworks flow. I got robbed. I got to bring the bear out of hibernation and show the bear what's what. Matt's just jealous that I made it further than he did. Just because he can draw a little bit better than I can doesn't mean that he can out-tattoo me. What is your favorite animal? A Clydesdale. Me being a tattooer, I'm not that good at drawing a horse. Maybe Matt Buck can give me some instructions. <laughs>
I want to go back to this grudge match to prove to Matt that I'm better than him. He's so salty about me beating him the first time, it would just be so much better to beat him a second time. Ooh, Mr. Matt Buck. See what you got, boy? Oh, she's coming in with confidence. Super cool tattoos up here. Looks like the one you got sent home for. Oh, she's calling it out right off the gate. Ooh, look at yeah. Matt. Oh, Who is this new guy? Me. If it isn't Katie, should have gone home before me, Roden. Oh, if it isn't Mr. Matt drops the ball buck. You know your tattoo robbed me of my rightful shot. I might have had some issues with mine, but at least I can tattoo. Oh, Ooh. man. This. Does Matt Buck get angry? Yeah, he still does that face when he's angry. Look, he's, he's angry right now. <laughs> he's still he's just straight building up, up all this rage inside. I've been waiting for this for a while. I'm excited to see what you got up your sleeve. No tricks, just talent. Let's get in there and get this thing going. This time, you don't have your friends to back you up, Matt. I didn't need any backup getting the number one draft pick. Oh, man, I can hear him already going at it. Mr. Where Illustrator, Mr. Know-it-all. Oh, oh, wow. Look who's Hi. back. The world knows that I was robbed of my rightful shot. Pretty much my rightful title. Your rightful yeah. title. Yeah, oh, okay. absolutely. I'm here for vengeance and to set order in the universe again. So are we. Matt is a wonderful illustrator, but I tattoo better than him. It's obvious to all of us there's definitely some unfinished business here, so let's settle the score. Today you guys are going to face off against each other in a 90-minute tattoo. We get to choose what you guys are tattooing today because we want the playing field to be totally even. The winner of the 90-minute challenge, you can have a huge advantage tomorrow. You have to pick the style or subject in a six-hour grudge match tattoo. And the winner of that settles everything. Done. No more baggage. I'm down. I'm ready. We need something that both of them can knock out of the park, because I want to see great tattoos. I want to see some good fundamentals. How's about just something timeless? Sparrows. Sparrows. That's it. Bird's the word. Bird's the word. Why? <laughs> You're not that funny. Stop it. <laughs> I thought it was funny. So you guys have 90 minutes to do a sparrow, any style, however you want. Just me and you. Well, as long as you don't get any of your tears all over that oh tattoo and all over the yeah, 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 we know, we know. <laughs> what are you guys waiting for? Only have get to work. Luck, right. Come on, let's go. I can't wait for this. Oh my god, Shit. this is going to be fire. Sparrows? Oh. All right, all right, my bald-headed beasts. You guys ready for this? Ready. Damn right. All right, guys, your 90-minute face-off tattoo, it starts right now. Go ahead and hop up over here. Can I get this stencil on you? One second, I gotta grab some scissors. Whoa! It'd be a shame if you fell. By a shame, I mean wonderful. For this 90-minute challenge, we gave Gonzo and Austin geometric animal heads. Liner only challenge. I love this. Perfect. All we want to see is these guys' line work and how clean they can make these things. Don't show us tons of tricks. Don't do any of that. Make it happen, Captain. And if you do, you can only use a liner, so I hope you got that stuff under your belt. Even with stuff like this, like I'm still going to give it my absolute best, even if it's not something I do every day. The line work? Yeah, I don't do much line work. I usually use my liners as shaders. Mm. Dropping lines all day. Gonzo can't pull any straight lines. I pull straight lines all day. Get everything in there, make sure all the lines stay consistent. Every single line I pull right now has to be crisp, clean, and perfect. I'm gonna whip that ass like it owes me money. <laughs> all right, Matt and Katie, you guys ready to set the story straight? Absolutely. Yep. You guys have 90 minutes to tattoo a sparrow, and your face off starts now. All right, hop on up. So I'm going to do a super thick, traditional style sparrow. Last one to start tattooing is a rotten egg. Can you stop with the dad jokes, please? Hey, what's taking so long, Katie? Are you uh, waiting for that sparrow to hatch out of its egg, or? Why don't you pay attention to your damn tattoo, Matt? So I can multitask. You can multitask. Mm -hmm. I can poke the skin and poke the bear at the same time. Well, taking your time, because I'm confident. Dork. When I first met Matt, I had a little fangirl moment because he's a killer artist. And then I realized that he's kind of full of himself and he doesn't really need a fangirl because he's his own fangirl. OK, here we go. I just want to knock him down from the pedestal that he sits upon. I can't wait. 